Hunter's in the bath, so we have five seconds. And we're actually getting another vlog out, believe it or not. We are. That's pretty good. One every week for the last two weeks. <laughs> wow, that's a record. <laughs> but this vlog is um, Spain as you never see it usually. Well, we never really saw Well, it's the a Spain mountains. we want to see. It is. Um, we say in this vlog, we talk about like we've been to the beaches in Spain, we've been to the cities in Spain and we loved it. We've never yeah. been to the mountains. And the reason we went there is we were meeting friends of ours, Mike and Pilly, and they suggested we meet in this beautiful national park with mountains all over the place. It was a start of our journey in the national park, really, isn't it? It was. Picos. Um, Mike is a long friend of mine. I met him traveling in Australia. Mm. He married Pilly, who's Spanish, and they both live in Madrid. So we were expecting lots of help. Um, <laughs> Put, put them under pressure yeah um but there's a very funny scene um when the boys are collecting mushrooms what do you mean funny well the outcome isn't exactly mm. what you were thinking was it close <laughs> but <laughs> we'll let you be the judge of that <laughs> Look at this gorgeous mountain i think this is where we're ending up is it behind this mountain we've got 14 miles to go oh just got off the phone from our friend Mike who we're going to see tomorrow. He's coming with his wife Billy. And we haven't seen them now for about two years since lockdown. Is it two years? Yeah. Yes. Look at how green that is. Oh, that's beautiful. We're still in northern Spain but we're heading into a national park called Ferentes de Carriones. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. And we were supposed to book a campsite, but anyway, the campsite's closed, which we're finding a lot at the moment. So they have a cabin. So we actually can sleep in a real bed for a couple of nights. Um, and apparently it's in a beautiful part of the National Park near a lovely village. So this is our van and this is our lovely cabin, which we managed to get purely by mistake. And uh, we're already getting our manchego and chorizo. So this is Mike laden with a beautiful old fashioned uh, basket and a cooler, most importantly. <laughs> oh, Hunter, are you helping them with the bags? Yeah. Oh, well done. Swaying up the path here. So he's just been cleaning the cabin first and now he's helping with the luggage. I feel like there might be a job coming along here. Welcome. <laughs> This is Pilly, Mike's wife. She's from actually from Madrid. So this is where we're going to like pick her knowledge of the best places to go to in Spain, what to eat and what to drink. <laughs> so this is this is the food of Spain, right? So <laughs> Mike and Pilly have brought this. What's it called? Cecina. Cecina, C E C I N A. So it's it's salted beef, is it? Yeah. What else have we got? Baccarones. There's yeah. a smoked cheese, local cheese from there's a machego, mm. and there's a couple of local cheeses. So we're just relying on these guys to introduce us to the Spanish foods. This is our introduction, yeah. and then we'll see how we get on. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. When she comes! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be wearing pink pajamas. When she comes. When she comes. So we've just driven up to this gorgeous viewpoint and this is in the distance is a place called Picos de Europa where we're going to head to next and this is what Mike and Billy recommended but for now we're going to take a little walk in the mountains. I didn't realise that the basket was for mushroom Mike. I thought you were just carrying it. <laughs> so we are looking for mushrooms. Yeah. Look at this mushroom. Well, the fact that the fact that they've walked past it, I, I presume, is not They're good. No good. Oh, really? I'm not so sure. No. Look at the. Oh, it does look at look the, like that one. Yeah, I think you're. Yeah, but there's right. lots of those like that. <laughs> lots of those. Like that. So Shane and Mike are in a competition for how many mushrooms. How many mushrooms have we got? What's the ratio? Who's winning? <laughs> God, you've been very modest there, Shane. That's very unlike you. Wow. Look 
Welcome to Liquid Pulligard for you. Look. Say gracias. You're going to put them all in your mouth. Come on then. Show me. Let's see what we have. Ooh. We're never gonna leave this place. <laughs> when Steph and Philly came to this lake, we were looking at blackberries and the other guys were having the mushrooms and now we're addicted. We don't want to leave. But Hunt is tired, so we're gonna head home and cook. What are we gonna do, Hunt Shane? Mushrooms and mushrooms, garlic, and we might have longer steam. So let's do it again at the Some of these are poisonous. Yeah. So much for our dinner. We're gonna have to find an alternative dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so Shane has found this app which identifies the mushrooms because the book wasn't It's coming totally up the cloud complete. funnel again. Yeah. So I took a different photos and it's, although the cloud funnel was once considered edible, now it is known that it can cause moderate, sometimes alarming, gastric problems. This one is one of the poisonous ones, that black one. Oh, the one right, I picked. This one, I'm not no, we don't know I yet. Think so. This is poisonous. Wash your hands Can after I pick touching. That one? Yeah. Oh, oh well. Thanks it was so much fun whilst it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> was awake all last night. He's looking for milk and we ran out of it. So we didn't even have oat milk. We parked up last night in this dedicated spot for motorhomes. You can just park up here, you can fill up with water, empty waste. They don't even charge you and the idea is that you spend money in the town. And look what else they have. A playground with a look at the sunrise. Oh my god. Sunrise over the mountain. It's open. Ah. Little village is open. Yeah, let's have a little beer. Bar El Pesquerga. So this is the local bar. They're going to have a look inside. We might have a little beer. We can sit down and have a little beer. Hunter's already found something. Hunter, who's winning? Hunter's winning. We've had a lovely night at San Salvador de, Ca <laughs> de Cantamuda, which is over this way. And we're actually going to stay there again tonight because it's so lovely. But we're going on a little walk. We're in a cycle up to a little place called El Campo. What's that, Hunter? Can you hear the cowbell, Hunter? I love the sound of these cowbells. Hmm. 
Let me put it this way. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous there. Oh, look at oh. the double key hunter. It's an eel. Yeah, look at the tractors. to look like this did you well coming up here to this lookout you think oh it'll be a lookout over the town <laughs> not look at all these mountains and you can see how they're being formed by the glaciers look at that one over there yeah it's amazing i think i've only really been to the beaches in spain or the cities never the mountains <laughs> 